Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam ala Rasulillah. Wassalatu wassalam. Continuing in volume two, Riyadh Salihin, book number eight, the book of virtues. Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that I heard Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, a surah in the Quran which contained 30 verses will intercede for a man till his sins are forgiven. This surah is blessed is he in whose hand is dominion. Surah to Mulk, surah number 67, the Tamizi and Abi Dawood. This hadith means that on the day of judgment, this surah will intercede with Allah for the forgiveness of its reciter. This hadith has been narrated in Arabi in the past tense because like the past indefinite, its occurrence is definite and not open to inquiry. At some places, however, it has also been narrated in the present tense. Narrated Abu Mas'ud al-Badri radiallahu anhu that I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, whoever recites the two verses at the end of Surah Al-Baqarah at night, they will suffice him, al-Bukhari and Muslim. Suffice him here means that he will be saved from the mischiefs of the headstrong devils. It's another meaning is that these two verses will make will take the place of tahajjud. Imam al nawi has cited the latter meaning. Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, I heard Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam saying, do not convert your houses into graveyards. Shaitan runs away from the house in which Surah Al-Baqarah is recited. Muslim. This hadith instructs us not to turn our homes into the lights of a graveyard through the negligence of reciting the Quran. It also points out the excellence of Surah Al-Baqarah, which if recited and acted upon, will certainly help us steer clear <coughs> of the devil's temptation. Narrated Ubay ibn Qa'ab radiyallahu anhu that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Abu Mandir, do you know which verse in Allah's book is the greatest? I replied, it is Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum. Allah, there is none, has the right to be worshipped but he, the ever-living. Surah Al-Baqarah verse number 256. Thereupon he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, poked me in the chest and said, Felicitations to you for this knowledge, O Abu Mundir, Muslim. The words cited in the hadith occur at the beginning of Ayatul Kursi, verse number 256 of Surah al baqarah of the Noble Qur'an. The merits mentioned in the hadith are for the whole verses. Ayatul Kursi mentioned the majestic attributes and mighty powers of Allah and is therefore very meritorious. Felicitations to you for this knowledge mean, may this knowledge be a source of respect, honor, and benefit for you. And knowledge here stands for the knowledge of the Quran and Hadith, which is certainly a means of success in this world and in the hereafter. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The hadith from Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu Don't turn your houses into a graveyard Which is meaning that it would be a, um, the hujah also for the people who recite the Quran at the graveyard That could be a, um, the hujah is not like reciting the Quran at the, the graveyard Meaning like he's saying, don't turn your house into graveyard, meaning reciting Quran in the house. So the, the Quran is not supposed to be recited at the graveyard. It could be a, a, a deal for that, not to recite in Quran at the graveyard. Yes, the Quran is not it's a place to be recited on the grave. Okay, therefore, when you abandon recitation of the Quran in your house, you turn in your house to be similar to a grave and your house is supposed to be a different from a grave. Okay? How? By reciting the Quran. So this is, in other words, a word of encouragement. Because nobody would like to live in the graveyard. Okay. Nobody would like to be spending time there. Because it's a scary place, it's not a place of enjoyment, it's not a place of entertainment. 
nobody would like to be sitting there, okay? Therefore, the Prophet ﷺ is giving you the advice that make your house to be different. How? By reciting the Quran there. Allah knows best. They derive, they derive the, one of the rulings that not to recite Quran in the graveyard. It's not allowed to recite Quran in the graveyard. This is one of the rulings. Okay. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Any comments, any question, any addition? Have a good day, everybody, inshallah. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. It's a switch, bro.